How do you feel about child support? Wow, I wasn't even ready for that, but can I just, can I say peace and love to the family? Yes. Peace and love. Whole hotel. Okay. Um, wow, child support. You know, <clears throat> As I said and I, in the book, that child support was not created for the melanated um, so-called black people. And um, actually, a lot of things wasn't made for us. The jail system was not made for us. Even though we think it was, it was not made for us. It was not created for us. But it seems like our people, what we do is we take whatever is out there, we magnify it. That, we're so powerful. We Everything we touch is magnified in terms of gold. So it's like, you know, when that bull, that BS come out there, we touch it and it just blows up and it's not right. So we done took over the jail system. We done took over the child support court, you know, and, and we're now taking over the perversion stage. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, I don't cuss that much. Don't cuss that much on my shows. <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't, nah, nah. No, because, you know. The oh, the BS? Oh, girl, you mm -mm, that's too harsh. <laughs> <laughs> right, but... Yeah, but it, you know, it was not created for us, and the problem is, is that we don't know how to come together so that we don't have to be there. Because I did it. I didn't. I want the child support court for one daddy, but not the other. So right. I had both sides of it. Right. And then, like, for the black men who didn't know, let's talk about this real quick. So I'm see, I dig into the book, so I want you to know. So you don't, you don't know, you know what I mean? Hollywood do read, you know what I mean? He ain't illiterate, you know what I mean? So let's talk about the head of the household too, because that's got something to do with child support. Like, cause I can remember, you know what I mean? Like, I never knew why, cause my mom's never explained it to me. But like when those people used to come out in Chicago, her boyfriend had to leave. And, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? And it couldn't be nothing in the house right. of his. And I was like, I didn't know what was going on. You know what I mean? Even though he was a worthless ass nigga. Yeah. I just want to say. Anyway, uh, put that on the books. Hopefully moms ain't listening. But put that on the books. But um, um, I thought she was putting them out. So every time, I thought it was a good day. Like, ooh, it's a good day. She put this nigga yeah. out. But then later on, He's after back. five o'clock, right. yeah, <laughs> you know, I guess office hours was closed. He was back. Right. But when I read your book, it opened me up a little bit with the welfare. Okay. So, you know what I mean? Can you, can you touch me on that a little bit? Like, you deep. I, I mean, your thoughts is deep. I mean, I love it. Like, I'm going to talk about, we, we ain't going to talk about it all right now. I'm going to tell you what I meet you with. Okay. Like that family orientated because you know like today like like if you go to st louis i'm from st louis okay and right today if you go down to st louis and you see a five-year-old child they'll have a godparent mm, okay. you know what i mean because st louis is so orientated with family i mean they do barbecues and all that they still, yeah, okay. they still do that okay but here right you say, what's a God parent? They were like, God parent, huh? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Yeah. And then some uh, some people don't want to take on the responsibilities because they child be like they child too bad. But they don't know is if you give them the guidance, right, at that age, it'll help them mature enough to not be bad. They bad because they need that attention to not be bad. Right. To me. Right. But you know, I'm, yeah, I'm deep with it. Yeah, I know right. it ain't my show and in my interview. <laughs> right. but you I'll just, what's that you word? Know. Um, Nosy. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> the man and the woman. You say you say the man can have more than one wife. No, uh, Hollywood. Right. Hollywood. I don't know how you. Talk. <laughs> it's that one word. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> it's Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. No, I'm just playing. Look, look. Man, I made a stat, right? I, I posted up a stat. I, put, I posted up a stat on Empress Page, man. They had a nice conversation going on, and I posted up a little stat. Oh, yeah. I, this brother jumped on my back, man. I'm talking about we, we had a nice conversation. Like they was on me. All I said was, "You like to see women on women. two women, two sexy women." Oh, I love yeah. to see Here that. We go. I love to see that. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? That's all I said, and <laughs> they jumped on my back. I'm talking about they got on me real tough. I, man, man, I want to jump through the do. I want to go jump it. through. She had to get off you. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did. Cause I said they sounded like uh, what? I, I, I took up for you. Yeah, you did. I did, but. <laughs> but what's wrong with that? That you think? Because I really don't think it's it's nothing wrong with that. I think it's something wrong with that's me. That's part of the perversion. That's what she's saying. 
Yeah, if I do too. If you feel too. like there's something wrong with the man, then it's the same thing. Gay is gay. Thank you. Well, I, well, I, <laughs> well let me just say this. <laughs> what I don't like is going on my page and seeing men without shirts on <laughs> on my page. Now, to me, you know what I mean? And I, and I don't got nothing against it, but to me... You should not do that on my page. Like you should, you should give me a warning. Like I want to be your friend, and sometimes I have my shirt off, and then I'll be like, no, you can't be my friend on my page. Wow. I mean, I you know, like today society has changed for the exception of me to accept that. You understand? Like at first I couldn't accept it because my little sister was that way, and I was like, oh wow, you know what I mean? Like damn, you know what I mean? But then, you know what I mean? Like. The, the, the brick cell phones or the suitcase cell phones mm. now we to the flip out phones now we to the smartphones it, it came to me to adjust into that the same way I adjusted to that it's it's the error and we can't change the error so if the president get on on national TV and say I agree with gay people getting married then you know that's just letting you know what we facing and, and the times we going. I mean, even though we can't change that, I'm keeping it 100. If we can't. It's in the water uh, or something. Well, let me ask you this. No, I'm okay, just yeah, ask just me. Right? Yeah, ask me oh, because I, 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 I want to hear your point no, of view of it. <laughs> I, I want to hear your point of view of it. I know how you feel about it. You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's got to be an exception to it. You see what I'm saying? Like I was watching Oprah, and she had. Doogie Howser on there. Uh, I can't think of his real name, but he plays as he Neil Oprah. Patrick Harris. Uh huh. Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris. He had he had him on there and his husband, and they had adopted some kids, a girl and a boy. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and uh, to me, my my state of mind was this. This was my state of mind. Just keeping it real with you. I was thinking like, how can that person then raise some kids in the house for them to have options because you when you're growing up as a child you're either going to be one or two ways you either want to be as a female you want to be like your mama as a man as a dude you want to be like your daddy you feel what i'm saying so if you got two daddies and two mamas what is the era going to bring in 2025 let's, let's say that like, like it's gonna be some big changes here. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself for them. What about you? I mean, I'm trying to. Oh yes. Are you? That's, oh yeah. That's what most of our shows are about lately. Cause it gotta be about that. Preparing. Preparing. You know, CPS has my kids. I'm gonna sue them for kidnapping because they still can't give reasons why they have my kids other than they just didn't like me. So is that discrimination? Because I'm not gay, but they're just saying I was gay. Or let's just say uh, 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 I robbed banks. They don't know nothing about me. They just know my swag. They don't like my swag, so they took my kids off my swag. Do you know, since May 2nd, I just not started seeing my kids. So I'm, 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 I really want to, you know what I really want to do? I really want to throw they, throw your book and slap them with it a couple of times and tell them to go home and read this because them hunkies lost. Don't have, don't have them coming to me looking for me. They lost, but I, they need answers. They need answers. Pink people need answers. And you're giving a lot of positive to me. In your book, it was just positive. Like, I couldn't set it down once I started reading it. You know what I mean? And I really started, because you kept me, me you kept me curious. And that, that was a good book. That's what you need to do. You know what I mean? You kept me curious because I get to a part, and I'd be like, well, okay, I got to see how this turned out. I want to see what she say about this part. I read the other three. <laughs> I didn't know it was the other three. That's my fourth one. Actually. Wow, ain't that something, fam? She gonna give us a the ending of a book. <laughs> Not the beginning. <laughs> Not, yeah, she 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 bring us the ending of the book. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm glad you're here. I definitely want to touch spaces with you, and don't be scared. 
to speak it because some the people scared. Well, I'm just saying, or shy. <laughs> not, not scared. I'm gonna be shy. shy. The well, you, you mom's over there right now. Oh wait. I, I brought pink people's up. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, don't go there. No, I'm I'm, I'm very I, respectful because you're speaking. Oh, it's all good. I know how to pull my power back when well, I need to. I'll, mm -hmm. Give us some power, please. <laughs> Let, let me let me let me let me hear you speak on some of the topics that we're gonna go into. You know what I mean? Then we get back to the music, then we'll come back and bust their heads open to the white meat. Or should I say the pink meat? <laughs> that's probably white on meat there. Okay, that's right, that's right. <laughs> so go ahead. Well yeah, what? Give me a topic. I mean, I mean what? I'm talking he about made, everything. He threw, he threw a lot of stuff out that you have I'm talking about everything. Right. Head of the household. You gave me a lot of stuff at the same yeah. time. Homosexuality. So, uh, the welfare. Yeah, the welfare. Yeah, the welfare right. Yeah, polygamy. Right. He asked about child support. Look at that. Oh, yeah, this. Look at that. Thank you. Pop palms in. Right. Yeah, was okay. Yeah, Why did they jump on me like that? Well, you know what? I'll, I'll pick one. Okay, that's right. Polygamy, because that's my favorite. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. About more than one wife? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about that. You might not want to hear this, though. Well, hey, I've been saying, you know, everybody, you're entitled to your opinion. I appreciate it. Right. Um. Hell, what y'all want to know? I believe in it. I believe in it. I, ble I believe in polygyny for nation building purposes only. I don't believe in it for, you know, the man have, well, you know, when you say a man have more than one wife, immediately his, immediate, immediately his mind starts going like, oh my God, more, you know, more and more. But they don't really want that. Men don't really want, they don't really want the wives to know each other. They say they do. They want to do a, a whole family thing. But really, it's easier for them if they were sneaking yeah, or cheating. There's something... Exciting. Okay, it's I, just exciting. It, it, yeah, yeah, it must be. I don't know it's what the they thrill, have going on. But, but polygyny, to me, it needs to be done because there's more women than there is men. And I think it's just selfish that a person but, just wants the man all to herself when there's so many sisters who don't have one and can't oh, have one. And I know, sweetie, I know, I know. I know, know but see, here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm with you now. Be, be my friend when I'm done, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still your friend. I read the book. You okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Friend. You're supposed to send me. Okay. I shared it. Here's the thing. There are, like I just said, there are more women than there, there is men. This, polygyny is something that was created long time ago. I mean, we're talking about ancient times ago. You know, it's just that when the Europeans, huh? aka pink people, when they start to inject the way they lived to the way we lived, we took on a lot of their characteristics. Everything we do now is European. There's not too much that we are doing as melanated people that we should be doing because we do what they do. You say melanated people, what do you mean? I know so called right. So called black people, the melanin in your skin gives you your color. Right, right. So it's right. so good for the goose is a This girl right here is you know that but and that's that is so much energy. That's why he light skinned. <laughs> light skinned light skinned people have to connect with someone that's heavy melanated because of the energy. 